We are close. Blackwell has a private helipad we can make use of. Think you can open it? There you go. Well, I could have done that. Blackwell's mansion is huge. We should split up. Yes. Good luck, Chase. I hope all the security means Natalia's nearby. A silver statue and a giant letter B. Subtle and classy, Blackwell. Whoa, it's like he paid Frank to do the wiring. Oh, no, no, no. 
Chase, I'm outside Blackwell Tower. Looks like most of Lego City's here, too. Woohoo! Party! Put your top back on, honey. You're still on duty. Listen, I still haven't managed to get through to Natalia. That's because Blackwell has her. Natalia's dad's a scientist who was refusing to help Blackwell build some kind of shield thing, so Blackwell used Natalia as leverage. Long story short, your dog probably didn't get walked today. Wow. Okay, well, the conference won't be starting for a while. They put up this giant electronic countdown. Well, that's not ominous. Once I find something, I'll call you. Nothing happened. Hmm. Maybe there's another switch. Yeah. No, sorry. But it looks like I found Force Blackwell's secret. He's a model-making nerd. He's an evil genius! This is his plan! Look! This is my phase polarity M, my magic bubble! He means to fly to the moon! How? The shuttle on Apollo Island isn't big enough for all his cronies. And you can't exactly hide a giant rocket in Lego City. The countdown! Blackwell Tower! Ellie! You have to get everyone away from Blackwell Tower. Now! Okay, but why? Blackwell Tower is a rocket. When it takes off, it'll fry everything within 10 blocks. I'm sending you evidence. Right. Everyone, you need to clear the area! Look, we don't have long, but we may be able to help. How? I'll tell you on the way.
Chase, I'm going to Blackwell Tower. I need you to go to my building in Auburn Docks. Okay. What am I doing? I just said, you're going to my building in Auburn Docks. And when I get there? I have working prototypes of the magic bubble machine there. They're in my laboratory. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to invert the polarity of the neutron that... Uh, I'm going to tell the mystical pixies that live inside there... I'm not an idiot, Professor. Are you going to use the magic bubble to contain the rocket's exhaust? Yes, exactly. And what if you can't? Uh, then I'm going to get a very good tan. Blackwell Tower, Chase. Have you got to my lab? Not yet. Then drive faster! This is a matter of life and, you know, the other thing. Oh, and your chief has dispatched another officer to help you when you get there. We're going to need more shield generators than I first thought. Chase, you need to get to my lab! Quickly, Chase! Everything depends on you! would they trust with such an important mission? Literally anyone. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Although it was impossible to get into Blackwell Tower, I've managed to hack into their launch computer and slow it down slightly. You don't have long, though. Don't worry, I'm at your laboratory. Good, then drive the shield prototypes here as fast as you can. And drive carefully. Okay, I could definitely do one of those things. What? <laughs> 
you're going! McCain, I'm with Kowalski. And where are you? Uh, I'm about halfway there, Chief. Not good enough. This thing's getting ready to launch. Find the accelerator and don't take your foot off of it! Chase! You need to get here faster! I cannot stop the countdown! I'm driving as recklessly as I can, Professor! It will automatically position one of the magic bubble machines for you. I should probably have mentioned, they are in self-assembly kit form, so you will need to build them. I'm too busy slowing the countdown. Chase, the professor told me to wait here and not touch anything. Oh man, look! It's all in pieces! That happened to me when I bought that painting. But then the guy at the store explained it was actually a jigsaw puzzle. I managed to put it together, but it took ages because the picture was of the color brown. Then I turned it over and someone had painted a load of kittens on the back of it. Just like they had on the box it came in! <laughs> evacuated all the citizens. I hope you set up those things right, McCain! Me too. There's no way we'll get to a safe distance now, and I don't do well in the heat. I do! Honey, that rocket's flame is gonna be burning at 3,000 degrees! That is hot! I better take off my jacket. How long do we have, Professor? Uh, about minus three seconds! computers, I saw that Natalia was on board. What? No, 
That was good work, Chase. He is talking to me, right? You've saved a lot of lives today, and uh, I'm a big enough man to admit when I've made a mistake. Or two. Which is still a lot less than you've made. Thanks, Chief. Mayor Gleason, I need a favor. For the man who just stopped Lego City being destroyed? Name it. I still have some people I need to arrest. I'll call Apollo Island right away. I think they've got a shuttle they can land you. Oh, oh, shotgun! Professor Kowalski? Don't worry. I'm going to get Natalia back. Uh, thank you, Chase. Is there anything I can do to help you? Uh, I guess it'd be useful if I knew how to fly a shuttle. Can you give me a crash course so I don't, uh, crash? No need. The engineers at Apollo Island will fly it by remote control. What about Blackwell's one? I'll have to get it back to Lego City. Oh, you can cross that bridge if you come to it. If? Uh, sorry, when? I meant when. This way, sir. We're getting the rocket ready right now.
Chase, I have to warn you that takeoff is extremely uncomfortable. I think I can handle it, Professor. I've seen the movies. And launching in 10, 9, we do that in case the astronauts change their mind. Hey, what do you know? In space, you can hear them scream. Well done! You are in outer space! Now, to get to the moon will take almost 10 seconds. Oh, okay, you're about the moon now. What? Uh, yeah, it's really close and very small. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Now, it's time for your spacewalk. You need to prepare very carefully. I want you to check and recheck your suit before you exit the command module. <laughs> sure thing, Professor. <laughs> That's weird. I don't feel any lighter. I bet it's because of those cookies I ate in the rocket.
Lego City selected as destination. Disengaging shield. Launching in five, four, three. I hope you're strapped in safely. One. What have you done? Take a guess, Blackwell. We're going home. No! I will not return to that society of blinkered fools! I tried building something truly wonderful for them. A self-contained world which they'd never have to leave. An utopian habitat that catered to their every whim and desire. It was a monument to my genius. You were a great man once, Blackwell. But you've gone crazy. Crazy? Your monument was nothing more than an apartment block with a shopping mall. Turn us around! Sorry! <laughs> we're locked in. Bring her over here. Chase! That's pretty low of you, Blackwell. Threatening a lady. Oh, no, no, no. I would never hurt a lady. I just want her to watch you get squashed. Hey there, McCain. Thanks so much for getting me this from the museum. <laughs> wow, that has literally come back to bite me. Whoa, that was close. Be careful. We'll need those energy tanks to run my moon base. No, you do, do ya? Just sit there like a lemon, Rex. Get him! Useless, Rex. This way, Kowalski. Where you going, Blackwell?
You're okay. Yeah, but you're about to be not okay. Are you mad? We're plummeting to our doom. Ladies before gentlemen, get him, boys. <laughs> It has come to my attention that, regrettably, you pair are still in one piece. Although, I'm happy to report that I don't think that will be the case for long. Oh, but don't worry. Everyone important is safe in the command module with me, along with billions of studs worth of gold. So really, this is just a setback, a minor inconvenience. Hey, quit throwing people at me! You see, once the command module is safely back on the ground, I will begin anew. I will gather my resources and rebuild my empire somewhere else. Stop it! And then, I will destroy Lego City! And I'll make Natalia watch as I do so. Bon voyage, Chase McGain! Come on, stop tossing portals! Uh, sir? What is it? Can't you see I'm gloating? The parachutes won't open, and we can't get to the emergency release lever. What? Wait there! I'll look for something to help in this cupboard. But that's the escape pod. Yes, it is! <laughs> Can you tell me, how do I get the doors to play?
But this isn't the last you've seen of me. I will have my revenge! Huh? Phew. Natalia, are you all right? Where are you? I'm coming! What? Hurry up! The other person has been disconnected and will crash into the ground in three minutes. Please hang up and dial again. Natalia! Lever? Okay. What is it? The brakes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Professor Kowalski's on his way. He said the command module will touch down any minute now. And what about the tons of falling debris from the rocket? Don't worry, Chief. I've got you covered. The debris splashed down at sea, Marion. Here? Oh, oh, there they are! <laughs> Congratulations. You've done it again, Chase. Almost. Blackwell got away in an escape pod, and Rex, well, he got away too, I uh... Rex? <laughs> Rex isn't a problem. Oh? He crashed headfirst through someone's roof ten minutes ago. Get this off of me! 
<laughs> hey, Rex, you don't look very flushed with success. I, uh... Ah, uh, I thought you should get the arrest this time. You know what? You can have it, Chief. Some things are more important than work. Oh. Yeah, you're talking about video games, right?